Hello dear friends, in today's video I will show my game against Alireza Firuja. Rapid game uh, played in 2024, in the beginning of uh, this year. It was a uh, rapid game, uh, rapid online game, uh, Champions Chess Tour, third round. Let's go. So I had uh, white pieces and uh, I drew, I started the tournament uh, not really good. I had, uh, uh, I drew my first game and then I managed to win second game with the black pieces. And in third round, I faced uh, Alireza. C5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6, uh, Nidorf variation. Bishop e3, e5, knight b3, bishop b6, black also can go bishop e7 in this position. So bishop b6, f3, h5. Here white is having uh, queen d2 option and I chose the other. So knight d5, white can here choose between taking with the knight and going bishop f5 or taking with the bishop on d5 and then going knight bd7. So Alireza for this game chose uh, to take on d5 with the knight. He takes the bishop f5. I played bishop d3. Bishop takes, queen takes. And yes, we got a playable position, maybe very slightly better for white. But again, it's like very complicated and playable. Knight d7, long castle, bishop e7. And here I thought that black wants to go bishop g5. And anyway, king b King b1 is very often useful move. So I played king b1 and did not allow like to trade the bishops after bishop g5. So after bishop g5, I went bishop f2, rook c8. I pushed h4, bishop h6. I played knight d2. And here I should say that uh, during the game, during this rapid game, I was thinking that uh, Already white is uh, being slightly better, but uh, I checked later on uh, with the strong engines and I can say that after bishop d2, black does not have much uh, problems. It's around uh, equal. Yes, Alireza allowed me knight on e7, knight e4, and here if f5, then knight g5 always comes and bishop g5, h takes g, otherwise knight is jumping to e6. And after bishop takes on g5, h takes g, it's hard to say where can black really uh, hustle. Yes, king e7, Alireza had uh, another intentions. So he wanted to keep his king in the center of the board. Yes, g4, I'm threatening to go g5 and always I'm stopping f5 ideas, bishop f4. Yes, I played b3 because I was uh, kind of afraid of some queen c4 ideas. b5, Alireza stops uh, c4. I played g5 because I didn't really know what to do uh, in this uh, side of the board, and knight f8. So knight f8 is a huge uh, mistake. I, I would even say blunder. Yes, white is having a slightly better position. And Alireza went knight f8. You can pause the video and maybe take a couple of seconds or even maybe a minute to realize how can white continue. Ready? Yes, bishop c5, killing move. If d takes c, then d6 finishes the game. So rook d8 is the only move. I played c4. Of course, white is trying to open up c file and uh, get black king. Queen b8, the threat is very obvious. Black is threatening to take the bishop. And here again, you can pause the video and take some seconds or even maybe minutes and realize how would you play. I fully understand that uh, if I would play, let's say, not Alireza, someone else, most likely uh, this decision would have been much easier. Yes, not every day you are playing Alireza or you are having chance even win against such a strong player. Yes. So ready? Bishop this 
d6 is the only move c5. Yes, of course, black does not have much uh, moves. Uh, rook d7, I always go d6 and c6. So rook d8, d6 check, king e8. And here I played queen d5. I could go c6 also, but I did not like uh, knight e6. And if c7, black is having knight c7 and queen c7, I, I thought this can be complicated. So that's why I played queen d5, because black cannot really stop uh, white uh, playing c6. Knight e6, g6. This was my point. Uh, the only drawback uh, g6 move has that it allows black to activate the rook from h8, but it's not much. Rook h6, rook g1. Here I was really uh, expecting from Alireza to play bishop e3 and maybe hope for some chances, but anyway, position is lost for black. So king f8, uh, he plays c6, I am threatening c7 to play. And if knight takes c7, queen f7 is checkmate. So queen c8, knight c5. Yes, now white is threatening many different uh, things. King g8, uh, d7, attacking the queen. And here knight takes c6, now f takes c, queen takes c6. King f8, there is queen f7 checkmate. And king h8, there is queen e8 checkmate. Hope you liked the game. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I will continue posting more uh, videos. And uh, I can say that Alreza is one of the players uh, I'm, I'm following his career very closely and all his leads and classical games. Once again, thank you very much.